We got a brand new trailer for Gil. This is like the one, probably one of the few characters in season four that I'm actually looking forward to. Forward. People have been saying that he like doesn't have a crush counter and weird shit. I don't know what the hell to make of that. I just want a character to be as intriguing as G was gameplay wise. I really do. I want G to be the much more. In, uh, it, he's like the character that makes me want to play Street Fighter Five whenever I think about playing Street Fighter Five. So if they can do that with with Gil, which is weird, they both start with the they both start with G's. Let's hope so. Show me some crazy shit. Nice intro. Who is Jill? Harmon. That is the truth of what you must see. First appearance in the new generation back in 1997, Gil is the messiah like leader of the secret society. He uses pyrokinesis and cryokinesis. Stand short, short combos? Some weird shit going on. He's back turned to the screen, by the way. This is a character that, if he had a stance switch, might actually be relevant to gameplay. Okay. See what Jillian has to say. That costume is no buenas, man. Falling projectile that shares the same element as his chosen V trigger. If it strikes the opponent, they'll be put into either a burning or freezing state. I guess in the freezing stuff is like the way Colleen does. That's a funny ass looking special move. How it's like not big and moves very slow. All right. His V skill two is a parry. The standing version works on high and mid attacks, while the crouching version works on lows. A successful parry has minimal recovery frames. So it recovers actually like third, third strike, unlike reuse parry, which did not. Of course. Of course. Jump up, neutral. No! Oh, so you can't jump parry. See, that would be a big deal. If he could jump parry, then I would probably be really impressed. Gil's V Trigger 1 powers up all his fire based normal and special attacks. It also unlocks Burnstorm, a flaming tempest that can be cancelled from most of his normals, and Flame Javelin, Ooh. a downwards projectile that strikes the ground. Ooh, like that thing looks sick! This is a neat special. Oh, so they're showing that it, it will it will fully come out. The hell was that shit? What the hell was that? Ugh! I like how the little title on the left says Retribution. Trigger 2 enhances all his ice based attacks and unlocks Tree of Frost and Delay Freeze Land. The former can cause a wall bounce if it hits a burning opponent, while the latter functions. I think it looks crazy. Okay. Oh god, oh god, it's not over? Holy hell! Where? How many juggle points does your ass get, dude? Holy shit! These actually look like fun. Good God! Okay. This, re this rewinding stuff is making me sick. Used to set up somewhat ambiguous side switches. But they have to stop this. They definitely need to stop this rewinding thing. 
Okay, so you can switch sides. Yeah, they're showing off some pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. This costume is badass. Counter button, but Gil makes up for it with the retribution system. If he puts the opponent into a burning or freezing state and then strikes them again with an elementally opposed attack, the combo and setup opportunities increase exponentially. What the fuck? So if you hit him with fire or ice, but if you if you switch between the two, you get retribution bonus. What the fuck? Getting getting creative with their Street Fighter characters? Hmm. Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, he's got the good all throw. Oh god. I see it when the retribution kicks in, it's got this big ass impact. What the fuck am I looking at? These look like third strike stun combos. I'm very curious, yeah. I I'm absolutely getting G vibes. And that's because he seems to have like this gimmick, where G has a gimmick, right? He has chores. They also gave Gil some chores, you know? He's got to do this weird retribution thing to buff himself out between opposing elements. So you have to figure out the best way based on what element you're at to get to the opposing element and shit like that in between doing combos, and then it also depends which hit did you land, what part of the screen are you, like all that shit. It looks very cool. It looks cool. His dual color body may make you do a double take, but there's no denying that Gil has the luscious locks in the business. The Pyron costume? Plus with a free frame jab. Is uh system and some The Pyron costume. Setup, it looks good. Of this man's divinity and dignity. But that should not be playable. No resurrection to Holy shit. Boss. It looks really cool. It looks really cool, but it looks insane. The fire waves look- it looks like it should be on a boss only. And not... And not like on a playable character. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I just wanted to play him because it's Gil, and Gil's got- oh, naturally has a lot of weird gameplay things. Just associated with him because of his being a boss character, but the stuff that they're setting up and the stuff that they're showing off in this demonstration looks pretty dope, man. Like, he is still a boss. It looks... Like, I kind of appreciate it when you have one versus one fighting games and they give the characters, like, some crazy stuff. Which is why, like, G isn't that crazy of a character, but in, in Street Fighter V Sense, he kind of is. And all the different stuff that he has to, like, worry about, if not level up, if not combo differently from, which is what makes him so much fun to me. And if they can capture a little bit of that with... with Gil... Apparently people are saying that, yeah, he doesn't actually have crush counter. He's lacking crush counter. Which, to me, doesn't seem like it could... is that... is, like, that bad? Because... Isn't it when you... Uh, no, when you when you V trigger cancel that nerfs damage. I don't know I, if they're doing a thing where he's got all these tools and all this opportunity to combo into all this crazy shit. Because what does crush counter essentially give you? Like a more, um, a more impactful punish. That's the big thing. Like punish and whiff punish. Like that's what it ends ends up boiling down to. But if he can do that without even needing crush counter, then screw it. I don't you know crush counter to have fun. Hmm. The parry doesn't do anything outside of parry. It just recovers a little bit faster than Ryu. This shit looks great. I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of Street Fighter V and its overall gameplay, but I really like G. 
And I've liked some characters in the game. But I think he looks really cool. I think they did a good combo. I, I, th I think they did a really good job on him. Not just his combos, but I'm, I'm curious what his nooch is going to be like. Is he, is he just going to have shitty pokes? You know what I was going to look? I was going to go back real quick. Did he just do low forward into into uh, shoulder check? He did! So here's here's a number. Here's a, here's a thing right here, right? Here's a thing. Um, normally in Street Fighter... Five, sometimes your crouching medium kicks just aren't cancelable for some reason. Like, some characters, their good pokes are there just to be their pokes, and you can't... You can't get a, like, a cancel out of it into a special. He seemingly can... Special cancel... Okay, I'm gonna have to mute. <laughs> he seemingly can special cancel his crouching medium kick. So the big difference between a, a parry, like... Gil and a parry like Ryu is that Gil's parry acts like it does in Third Strike. The manual parries in Street Fighter V that are parry-like don't act like Third Strike parries. Third Strike parries recover much faster. They'll allow you, like, even on jab to potentially punish something, even if it's a jab. But in some situations, if you were Ryu and you parried a jab, you wouldn't be able to, to punish sometimes, depending on when you parried it. I'm impressed. I'm actually impressed. I think they did a really good job with him. He is a Street Fighter 3 character, you would think that that is like, well, I'm gonna love it. Um, but I've always thought Gil was a lame-ass last boss. Personally, I always felt that he's like... He's always been stupid. He's red and blue. And then you learn later, like, what, what they... The red and blue thing was there as a technical achievement with the CPS3 hardware. The fact that every character in, like, every 2D fighting game was mirrored. That they were just the mirror image of each side, which is why Guile's... Uh, why his tattoo on his arm was always the same side. It was like, wait a minute, what the hell? And, and then it would switch to the other side when he would change directions. So I was never a fan of the way he looked, but he did have some cool shit gameplay-wise, like, obviously. Very curious.